It wasn't your typical deplaning at the Armstrong International Airport Wednesday, but this Hello, sir. isn't your ordinary flight. 27 World War II veterans are on board. You made it. You made it. Flying courtesy American Airlines from Los Angeles to New Orleans. If they don't come to New Orleans, they're not going to see the museum. So. That's actor Gary Sinise. His foundation is partnering with American and the National World War II Museum to bring the veterans here and record history. We can never take uh, for granted what they did. 75 years ago. I mean, it was uh, it was a very, very difficult period in the in the history of the world. There's never been a more devastating war in human history than what happened in World War II. And we have these living, breathing libraries of history. Uh, we want to spend as much time with them as we can. On the flight, petty Naval Second Petty Class. Officer Second Class Barney Leone in, and Air Force infantry. Navigator Michael Louvier. New Orleans is my really home now because my ship started here. That was in 1944, and from New Orleans, Leone sailed to the Pacific. We were at Iwo Jima in Okinawa, and I saw the flag go up at Iwo Jima, and I have the flag for my ship during that time. Levere fought on the European front. I'm a B-24 navigator, flew 36 combat missions from England over, the, over uh, Germany and um, never got a scratch. Now, their war stories will be part of the same theater. Bonnie here, he did some great work in the Pacific, you know. He was on a uh, fuel ship, a ship that... Uh, aviation uh, gas. Aviation gas. They kept us to the end of every kind of war. Right. Nobody we wanted never to went near us. him because if you got near him and he blew up, that was the end for everybody. The only company we have is your munition ship. We didn't have a chance. It's these kinds of exchanges the soaring valor wants to save generations to come. Reporting in New Orleans, Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.